Good day everyone. I am Carlo A. Pidoce, a teacher applicant from Mabini District. And today, I am going to present a Mathematics 10 lesson that is all about arithmetic sequence. And here is my lesson plan. Good morning class. Kindly stand for our opening prayer. Let us put ourselves in the holy and loving presence of God as we bow down our heads and close our eyes. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. In the silence of our hearts, let us pray to God our personal intentions. Uniting our prayers into one, glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, class! Before you take your seats, kindly straighten your rows and columns, as well as pick up the pieces of trashes under your chairs, and make sure that you put them in the proper trash bins. You may now settle down. Magandang buhay! Magandang morning, class! Wow, what an energetic response! I assume that you are really ready for our lesson for today. May I ask our monitor, Jane, to kindly check the attendance? Very good! Nobody is absent. Let us clap our hands together in class, for everybody is present today! Alright, so let's continue. Let us try to look back, class, on what we have done yesterday. So who can give me a recapitulation of what have we done yesterday? Yes, Angel? Very good, Angel. Yesterday, we have discussed about sequence, mathematical sequence, and discussed about explicit and recursive formula. And as a sort of recapitulation, a mathematical sequence is a set of numbers governed by a certain rule or follow a certain pattern. So for this lesson class for today, we will have a continuation of what we have learned yesterday and we will have another interesting and challenging activities for today. So let's start. Are you ready? Good. So I will give you an activity. You will group yourselves into five and answer these five questions for five minutes. And your timer starts now. Time is up, ladies and gentlemen. So, have all of the groups answered the five questions? Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you, have you observed or how did you arrive to the next term of these sequences that you have answered a while ago? Anybody? Yes, Raymar, very good. You have observed that in order to continue the pattern, you will add a constant term, right? So that is, we are going to elaborate today about arithmetic sequence. How is the pattern governed by a certain rule using an arithmetic sequence? But I would like you to be mindful of these following objectives that we are going to have for today. So, at the end of the lesson, you are expected to learn and to be familiar, if not master, all of these objectives. First, determine arithmetic means and n term of an arithmetic sequence. Second, calculate the value of the first term, the common difference, and the general term of an arithmetic sequence, and observe applicable formula to be used in practical context of arithmetic sequences that would be in real life, and recognize the relevance of arithmetic sequence in our everyday living. So without further ado, let's start by defining arithmetic sequence. So class, an arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. So that is the thing that you have asked and we have said a while ago. The constant term that we are going to add to each term in order for the sequence to continue. That is the common difference denoted by D. And to get the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, 
we will use this formula. In our examples a while ago, we have just trying to find the third, the fifth, the sixth, or the seventh, the tenth term. But what if we are going to ask for the 64th term, the 100th term, diba? 200th term. How are we going to do it? Are we going to just list them one by one and add those constant term? So that is how this formula will be used. So this is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, where the a sub n is the nth term or the last term. Okay? A sub 1 is the first term. Our n is the term or the position of the term that we are in, and the d is the common difference, the constant that we have. Okay? So to further elaborate and understand about this class, I will give you an example on how this formula works. So let us try to have this one. Kindly read, Rina. Find the 64th term of the sequence negative 3, 3, 9, 15, and 21. This is what I have told you earlier. So what if they're going to ask for a much bigger term? So here, the problem asks for the 64th term. So we are going to use this formula to answer this one. So the formula is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a sub n, because we have asked to find the 64, so that is a sub 64 equals, what is our a sub 1? Yes, that is negative 3 plus our n is 64 since mama na yung ato ang ipangita. So this would be 64 minus 1 times d. What is our d by the way? So how do we get our d? Pwede na mag-add. Para kung ipabali, we will uh, subtract our second term by the first term or our third term by the second term basta kayo nagsunod sila by its preceding term, okay? So this would be, what is our common difference? 6, very good. So let's continue. A sub 64 equals negative 3, what is 64 minus 6? This is 63 times 6. So continue. A sub 64 equals negative 3, what is 63 times 6 class? That is 378. Very good. So A sub 64 equals 375. Wow. Do you have any question? Am I understood? Very good. So for now, we will try to have a skill practice on what uh, have we done. So we're going to check if you really understood our topic by answering our skill practice. Together with your group, you will still use the group that you have done a while ago. Alright? So, moving on class, let's try to see if you can do these problems in your own, okay? So, let's see if you really understood our topic for today by answering this one, our evaluation for today. That is good for 5 to 10, up uh, 10 minutes by the way, and now, Done class, kindly pass your answers and for tomorrow before we start our class, you are going to pass your assignment. Do you have any questions? Am I understood? Very good. So let's up, wrap up for today's lesson class by this. So we see patterns in our everyday lives, right? And by acknowledging those patterns in the past, we can have that as our basis for our wise decisions in the future. So our uh, sequences are, can be found in theater, in building, or ever, uh, in money, in savings, and even uh, our everyday lifestyle. So what's important is we need to be mindful of the pattern that we have in the past so that in the near future, we could have a wise decisions that we could have. I think that would be all for today. Do you have questions, class? None? So let us pray in the name of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Goodbye and may God bless you, class. Thank you.